It's the uh, 6th of January 2012 and um, it's Serbian Christmas Eve. So tomorrow is uh, a day of, um, uh, well, as far as we're concerned, eating. But one of the things that's got to be done is the bread. Now every year we make the bread. Um, the dough is, is quite unique and it's always money goes into it. So it's going to be an Anglo-Bosnian one. This uh, yeah, That's a pound that's going to go in there. And in this pocket here, as you can see, is all the money because... Um, Somebody's uh, great-grandmother said that if you have money while you're making this bread, you'll have money, you'll be lucky and you'll get money throughout the year. So, once again, don't, uh, we're not superstitious. Well, on the other hand, we don't believe in taking chances. So this is the Serbian bread, Christmas bread. Um, the last time I had one of these was in Hong Kong. It's really cool. Tomorrow we'll show you about moving it to the left and moving it to the right and breaking it. And whoever gets the coin will get the good luck. So at the moment, this is the dough being made, then it's going to be... Uh, formed up and we'll show you that in a minute and then it goes and it gets baked comes out and it will cool off and then tomorrow we'll have it so um christmas eve serbian christmas eve 2012 and it's all about the money so this is the bread um it's now it rises twice so this is the first time that it's it's risen apparently uh, traditional bread is made without yeast, but this does have yeast in it. So there we go. It's going to be quite a big bread, I think. Don't you agree? I do. So it just got a punch and it's now gone down, so it's got to come out and be kneaded again. As uh, all is being done traditionally. Um, then it will be kneaded and it goes to, to rise again. So we'll come back. We won't watch it being kneaded this time, but we'll watch it when it comes out for the second time. So it's we are going to show you kneading, yeah, with the knuckles going in, kneading it. If I if I lose my my uh, <laughs> my ability to talk in a minute, we're, we're going to have um, a madras in a minute, and I just tried it and uh, wow. So this is kneading for the second time, Serbian Christmas bread. There's the money, the British pound that's going to go in now. When we do another film, hopefully, if I remember, when uh, the bread gets uh, passed around between everybody tomorrow on Serbian Christmas Day, then the bread will be broken and some lucky person uh, will have the coin. Well, that's uh, the way the tradition goes. And uh, it's all been boiled up, waiting for the bread to go in.
So here's the plat, which is going to be one of the decorations. So there's the other half of the <coughs> the plat being put together. What you didn't see though was Cooper, our Istrian Gonich, <laughs> actually got up and uh, stole part of it. So um, he's down there at the moment, I suppose waiting for the next episode. So there's some decoration starting already. So it's got to rise again, but before that there's going to be a glaze on it. So. Um, it's the yellow going on. And the reason being is it, um, we like to have it golden, basically. Which uh, is a personal thing, I think. But, um, make it nice and golden when it, when it finally gets baked off. So, the bread is now risen. The oven is ready, and now it's quickly in. It's got to go quickly in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In it goes. And then when it comes out, in 40 minutes, in 40 minutes we'll have Serbian Christmas bread. How cool is that? It's growing. It's going to be a rather large bread, he thinks. Okay, it's 40 minutes later, and the bread is going to come out. Now, the shape we've been looking at and laughing at, but it's um, sort of like spread and split where the nice um, plaques were. But nevertheless, what a super cake. I think that looks quite cool, actually. So there we go. And this is a Serbian Christmas bread. Turn upside down. If it comes... Look at that, perfect. And in there is a British pound, and tomorrow we'll do a video of how people um, break the bread for Christmas. But now it's got to be wrapped up, and this is all part of the tradition of it all anyway, and it's a nice way to do bread. Be turned upside. You're going to turn it upside down or leave it as it is? I'm going to turn it upside down. You can turn it upside down. So here it goes upside down, and it'll just stay here now to cool off. Lovely. Look forward to having some of this tomorrow. So that's it. Serbian Christmas bread made, and we'll show you tomorrow in a separate video how they break their bread and see if they get any luck.